Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I did get a payout from two miners, my first payout, and I was mining Ethereum, as you can see right here. I'm mining Ethereum, but I'm getting paid out in Bitcoin. So I set my um, Ethereum payout threshold. I think it was 0.1. Um, yeah, 0.1, you can see down here, right here, ETH was my payout. Right when that was reached, I got immediately paid out in Bitcoin to my Bitcoin wallet. So that is awesome. It works. I love it. None of this worrying about setting the GUI fee, the GWEI, the gas fee you have to pay or set. Just, to, you know, you set and you pay it to get your Ethereum out of your mining pool to your wallet. So I really want to stack Bitcoin. My goal is to get as much Bitcoin as I can and then the rest keep getting Ethereum. So I have my rig split right now. Most of it is mining on two miners, 1% fee on the pool. And then the, the uh, software, I think, charges 1% dev fee. And uh, I'm mining Ethereum, but I get paid on Bitcoin. And I get it moved to my BlockFi wallet. So what happens now? There is a change BlockFi just came out with. Blammo! Introducing the BlockFi wallet. So... This is new. I'm glad I read things now because I've learned don't just trust anything where you put your money. Always keep up on it. Spend a five five minutes a week to look at it, see if anything's changed, and read your emails. Because now BlockFi has a wallet. It is your new default wallet account uh, where all new assets are stored. The wallet is a non-interest bearing account. Repeat, non-interest bearing account that safeguards your assets while you buy. So, so the BlockFi wallet is your new default account where all new assets are stored. The wallet is a non-interest bearing account that safeguards your assets while you buy, sell, and store crypto and borrow funds. Repeat, the key thing here is non-interest bearing account. One of the things I like BlockFi was is that you can get interest on your crypto as it sits there. And there, it was an interest bearing account. So you just had it there and it just, you know, gets interest based on whatever they're paying out. Uh, now they have this wallet where it's non-interest bearing. So is that a little fuzzy math there? So now what you have to do if you want to get interest bearing. So if you go up to accounts, right, you got your accounts. Now you got your wallet interest count and I, you can get the credit card. And I mentioned a credit card. You get your rewards paid out in Bitcoin, right? So that's a, that's kind of a neat little thing. If you're out, you know, you spend blah, 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 you get one to 2%, I think, and uh, you get paid in crypto each month, Bitcoin, and that goes into your credit card account and you get interest on that. So here's your interest account. So 200 bucks in my interest bearing account, earn daily interest on in crypto. So there you go. That's making interest. Look, woohoo, there it is. You make interest. And uh, that's good, right? We love it. You can see my little interest payments, active assets. But having just got paid out from two miners to my uh, BlockFi wallet, it is in a wallet now. So I have to go over to wallet and I have to do a transfer. Kablamo. Transfer. Choose where you want to transfer your assets. Pretty, pretty clean, pretty simple little dialogue. I love simple. You know, just again, like I say, stuff, not fluff. Keep it simple. Two little radio buttons. To my interest account from my wallet. Yes, I want to do that. And I want to put that in there so I can start getting interest on that account. Okay, guys, that is all I got. I wanted to update you on that. So if you're using BlockFi, beware of the wallet. And you may have to move it to your interest bearing account to get that yummy interest. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. And I'm a